I want to show you is at the bottom you can see that apps can actually register here as well. So I can see what mail and calendar and IMs I've got. And these take advantage of a feature in the day called Connected Standby, which uses Tegra 3's low power idle mode to be always connected and up to date, even though I haven't had the machine on. And it keeps great battery life as well. So my device is ready when I am. So when I'm ready to go, I just swipe my finger up, and I'm at the picture password. Right, so this is a touch-first, secure way to log into my system. So in this case, this is a picture of my son. I'm going to draw a line on the table. I'm going to tap on his hand. I'm going to draw a circle around his head. And just that easily, wow, kid. I'm logged into the events. I'll tell him that. <laughs> um, I'm logged into Start. Now, Start really is Windows 8. Um, it's where all of the things I care about are right here. So I've got tiles that represent the applications I'm interested in. They're alive with up-to-date information. And you can see here we've got a bunch of developers we've really started to work with to build interesting, compelling applications for the new Windows platform. Now, um, you know, as I can, it sticks to my finger. Yeah, and so they, they, one, of the, one of the questions that I get a lot is that, that um, you know, the, the netbook, when it first came out, uh, consumers were confused by the limited capabilities of the network. And when they loaded applications, full-out applications on these networks, and they expect them to be real PCs, um, full-out PCs, they find that the experience was lacking. And one of the questions that people have is, how do we prevent from the repeat of the network experience this time? Because this particular platform is actually based on an ARM processor instead of x86. If somebody were to load, for example, SAP on this tablet, um, it might not run very well, for example. And so how do we prevent that experience from happening? Sure. So in Windows 8, the, the store is actually where you're going to get applications. And so the Windows Store is a really easy place to find great applications. And it's really built to be super easy to find. And you know, this is the modern way that people get applications. Mm -hmm. They go to stores. It's really easy to navigate and really easy to It's install. not like I'm going to get a DVD and try to shove it somewhere. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. There's no DVD shoving. There is no, inst yeah. no install but you, know, the store you, can. But you actually raised a good example too with SAP. Um, for enterprises, they can take these tablets mm -hmm. and bring them right into the enterprise and actually do loading applications the way they're comfortable. Mm -hmm. Do their own deployment. So this device will be just at home in the enterprise mm -hmm. as it is in your couch. I see. Which is really important. Now the other the other question that I get often is is um, you know Windows obviously is that we believe long term there are going to be multiple platforms and multiple ecosystems. There are some people whose computing experience starts um, with what they compute at home and they bring that computer to work. Some people call it the consumerization of IT. Um, other people like myself, we have computers that we use at work and we bring it home and we put all of our digital music and photos uh, onto that device. And so we believe that there's multiple platforms, but some people think that, that you know, gosh, Windows on ARM is, or Windows 8 um, is a couple years behind uh, other platforms, but hundreds of thousands of applications now available. How are you guys going to evangelize this platform to get people excited about it so that you have great applications on it? Yeah, and it's, it's a really important point. It's actually one of the things that we're going to start working on together. We've just started sharing details about our store. You know, our store is going to run at the, the reach of Windows, which is the reach of the world. We're going to launch in 200 markets, and we launch Windows 8 in more than 100 languages. We're going to let you use whatever business model you want, free, paid, you can use our commerce platform, you can use your own. Mm -hmm. Which for things like game developers and all sorts of different um, developers out there, it's really important for them to use the business model that works for them. Now, if you go okay, so if, you're, if you are a content provider and you would like to build a content platform around Windows Store, mm -hmm. and, and you would take care of the economics yourself and the commercial engine yourself, um, they benefit from from that in a special way. But well, they, they don't have to give you 30%. That's right. They can bring whatever model works for them, which is really important. Now, if they use our model, they can get up to 80% of their revenue back. No, they earning more in every single dollar that goes to the Windows Store, meaning that they can operate their business just that much more efficiently with that much more revenue. Um, and you know, these this whole store brings new applications like this sample app. And one of the really important things is this is an RSS reader. Now, this is full screen immersive, and it doesn't look like a Windows application today. And it's written on this new platform called Windows Runtime, which is important because it lets a developer use a language they know, 
So this is actually written in HTML5 and JavaScript. Yet it takes advantage of all of the power in all four cores of this uh, Tegra 3 processor, the sensors, and you just imagine the sorts of the experiences you build. That's fantastic. You can also use C or C++ mm -hmm. and build the sorts of compelling games that you showed off earlier. Well, we all, we all know that, that uh, Windows and Microsoft has the best developer development platform on the planet. And that, that is, that is, a, that is a, a, a advantage that Microsoft has and the mass that it has invested in the contract. And now with the, with the Windows Store and the economics and the flexibility that you guys are bringing, I think it's going to be pretty fantastic. Yeah, I'm pretty excited.